Regarding the use case, Cliff is the first project that adopted the hedge fund-like structure, whereas we invest usually in crypto. And then whatever gains we make goes back into the Cliff treasury for either more buys and burns or community prizes. So we're looking as our investment portfolio grows, we're looking to directly reward the investors in terms of the profit we make. And so far, our, our investment portfolio is worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. For instance, we've bought a Board Ape Yacht Club NFT for 50 ETH. I think right now the floor is 90 ETH, 100 ETH. I'll have to double check. But that's just a sample regarding how profitable our investments are. And we still did not liquidate anything like we did liquidate a couple of nfts for profit i think it was the doodle nfts we've bought them for two eth then we sold them for five eth and then we we did a buy and burn with these profits but otherwise uh, all of our huge portfolio is mostly untouched so we're not in a hurry we're doing this for the long term moreover we have not only acquired lands in in the sandbox we on also built city we built a city inside the sandbox so as the sandbox adoption becomes bigger our voice will be heard more and more inside the sandbox and we are going to target sandbox user in our long-term marketing campaign you mentioned red can you explain right how one might acquire red today well, we can acquire red by a staking cliff so if you already have a bag of cliff you can also instead of it especially for the holders instead of this bag just sitting and doing nothing you can stake it and earn red on a daily basis and you're earning a token that is not released on the market yet so it's as if the stakers are pre-sailers because they're literally printing tokens that are not yet bought and sold on the market so as soon as they are their value will increase exponentially so we're getting every single cliff staker is getting red tokens at the floor price and not even the floor price they're getting them for free and because red is a governance token for cliff it makes sense because ultimately it should reward the, the long-term holders, the long-term stakers. And that's the logic that went behind uh, having the most of the red supply available for the stakers. The current staking mechanism has a duration of one year. And after that, there will be another staking mechanism for three years. So again, we're thinking long-term. And is there a cost associated with staking Cliff to acquire red? Yes, there would be 5% of the Cliff that are staked. They are burnt. Also, it keeps, it's consistent with the way the tokenomics work. So on one hand, Cliff stakers earn red on a daily basis. But then uh, let's say they stake 1 million cliff, 5% of that amount is burnt forever. So when they want to unstake, they would have their full bag of red plus the 1 million that they staked or wherever, whatever amount, minus 5%.